Welcome to an origami envelope tutorial. I'm Shari Philomohala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and I'm excited to show you two easy and fun ways to create origami envelopes. Uh, these are a great way to use over your leftover papers after you're done with a larger project, and they're also great for gift giving. So let me just show you a peek inside. We'll teach you two different styles of origami envelopes, and you can create these in uh, many different sizes that you cut your papers to. This is a smaller size that's perfect for a gift card, as you can see, and then it unfolds to reveal lots more spaces for adding photos, and then you could even add a nice personalized letter in the center, just creating a beautiful little gift, all you need for that is one piece of paper, a little bit of ribbon and a chipboard, and you've got a great gift idea there. And then we'll also be teaching you how to create the second envelope style. So these are fun to create. It's just a few folds, uh, some tucks, and you don't even need any adhesive to create these. And these will be a great addition inside of your paper crafting projects as well. So you could add them to your albums, or you could even add it to your uh, birdsong explosion box. So if you want this tutorial, you can find that in the description below. Just hit that link once you've learned how to create these origami envelopes, and then you can add them inside your explosion box. So both of these projects for our club G45 volume three this month have been created by the wonderful and talented Annette Green. We are excited to teach you how to create these. So go ahead and grab your papers and scissors and let's get started. So let's start on our origami envelopes. We're gonna do this one first because when we're cutting out our joy lug paper, we need to cut this piece out before we start on our explosion box. So if you do do it the other way around and you do your explosion box first, just note that you need to cut out uh, the joy lock paper to be eight and five eighths by nine and seven eighths, and then put that aside if you wanna create this um, exact same origami envelope. And before we get started on our first envelope, I'm just gonna show you how it all unfolds. So it makes a little more sense while you're putting it together. So the outside does have these nice little slits where you could slide in an extra little gift tag or something in there as well. And then inside we've got this diamond shape. And this just unfolds. These untuck from there, unfolding to this nice rectangle, which opens up like so. So once you kind of see how it all comes together, it makes it a little bit easier when you're putting it, when you're doing your folds. You may want to try this out, this tutorial out, on some white copy paper, so that way, if you do uh, need a few tries at it, you don't ruin uh, your paper. It is fairly simple, but it does take a little bit of a, a learning curve. So, with that being said, for our step one, we are taking our joy luck paper, and with our pattern upright, we are trimming this down to be eight and five eighths by nine and seven eighths. And then we are gonna turn this sideways. Now we are gonna fold this paper in half from left to right. So this is our nine and seven eighths edge, our longer edge that we're folding in half. Just matching up our corners and then find the center. And then with a bone folder, we go ahead and burnish our fold. So we want it to be a nice crisp fold. So going over these folds a few times with your bone folder will definitely be beneficial. For step three, we are gonna open this up and then rotate again. And now we are folding up our bottom edge. So 
we're folding that to our burnished fold line we just created. And once you've done that, go ahead and take your bone folder and give it a nice good crease. Step four, we are going to do the same thing from the top, folding this down to our center line. Step five, we are gonna open this up and now we are gonna start to fold in our corners. So starting with any of the corners, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna fold up in a triangle to that first score line. And then taking your bone folder and getting it nice and crisp. And then you'll just do the same with all four corners. So you'll end up with this. Step seven, we are going to fold in each of our sides. So at this point, your piece should have these nice little black triangles sticking, poking out. And then we want these to be meeting nicely together. And once we've got that, you can go ahead and crease this down. Step eight, we are going to flip this over. And now we're going to start to pull this up. So we're forming a nice little triangle. And that's where we want our next score line to be. So we want it to be at just the tip of that triangle. It's our black polka dots showing and then making sure this is nice and even on both sides. And just burnish that down. And then we'll do the same on the opposite side. So just getting that corner nice to the edge. And then making sure your sides are aligned with the rest of our envelope. You can go ahead and burnish this down now. Step nine, we are gonna tuck our bottom corners into our top little folded edges. So I'm just gonna kind of round this just a bit. I don't wanna crease it, but I'm just gonna round it a bit so I can slide in my first corner and then creasing or folding up the other side so I can slide this into the right hand corner and then I'll just smooth it all down. And now that our origami envelope has been created, we can just take a cute little gift card, a photo or some cash, maybe a note, slide it in there and then slide some other little surprise on the other side. And then taking any coordinating ribbon or twine that you have. And then uh, one of our chipboard pieces, we're using this great one. It's gonna have a space to write uh, to and from on there. First thing we're gonna do is tie this around our envelope. And then once that's loosely tied on there, we can take the end of our ribbon and thread it through the back side of our chipboard piece. like so, and then go ahead and tie a bow. And there you have it. Our first of our two origami envelopes, super cute and so easy to do. This is a great way if you're ever in a pinch to create a little gift card for someone, a little birthday present. This has got you covered and you can do it in you know less than 10 minutes. Next, we'll be creating envelope B, which is super cute little cherry blossoms folds inside like this and then unfolds where you could be tucking in some nice little goodies in here maybe a tea bag and then tie this onto a coffee mug or a teacup or you could always put a nice little letter on the inside as well for some add some extra photos
for step one, we are going to cut a square from Cherry Blossoms, and this is going to be eight inches by eight inches. And then I'm just flipping this over to have the pink side revealed. And then I'm going to fold up the bottom to the top. And I'm going to do just a little bit of folding on my edges. I'm going to crease just my edge, just about a, an inch or so in that center crease. And I'm going to do that on both sides. But I do not want to do it all the way through. So just kind of a light little fold on the ends. Step two, we are going to mimic that first step. So we're going to be bringing up the bottom again, but this time to those light folds we did on step one, making sure we're nice and even on both sides. And then just fold just about an inch on the edges. For step three, we are going to be folding up the bottom edge again, but this time to our last fold point. So just finding straight edges on either side. This time we are going to go ahead and burnish all the way down. So grab your bone folder and get a nice crisp line. The trick with doing some origami folds with Graphic 45's nice thick paper crafting paper is making sure that you're getting a nice crisp line every time you're folding. Step four, we're going to keep our fold folded and then we're going to take this bottom edge and fold it up to our first lines that we've created in the center point. And then making sure that those are nice and center, we will go ahead and burnish again. Step five, we're going to notice our little mark lines that we made. This was our step two markings that we made. So here on the right and here on the left. Just noting those, we are going to take our top of our paper now and we are going to fold to those score lines. So on the pattern paper, it is a little harder to find those. So you can just kind of feel and make sure you have some good lighting for this. And then once you find those points, we can go ahead and burnish this down. Step seven, we're going to open this back up. And then with our bottom folded portion, we are going to create some nice little triangular folds. So just meeting our bottom left hand corner, making it nice and flush with our blue papered area. Once you have that where you want it, go ahead and take your bone folder and burnish that. And then we'll do the same with our right corner as well. Just making it nice and flush with our folded area. Step eight, we are going to be taking our left hand side and we are just going to fold over on this corner edge and it'll give it a nice mitered corner look on our bottom. So keeping everything nice and flush. Step nine, we are going to repeat step eight, but on the right hand side. So creating a nice little mitered corner look. Step 10, we are going to create a nice even point with our top piece. So just once those meet together, go ahead and burnish that down. Step 11, after we've burnished that down, we can go ahead and tuck our top corner into our folded edge. 
like so. And now we have created a nice secure gift envelope. Step 12, we are taking some coordinating ribbon to tie around our envelope. I'm using some nice pale pink seam binding that's about 18 inches. And you can fold, tie this either way on the folded edge so you can show off your origami skills, or you could do it on the smooth edge on the other side as well. So whatever your preference is. And then threading the seam binding through the back side of our chipboard. I've done a loose knot. Now I can put that next to my knot and create a nice little bow. And then once you have your bow how you like it, you can just trim those tails and voila, you have another gorgeous little gift envelope. Thank you for joining us for this origami envelope tutorial. We hope you had a fun time learning how to create these super cute envelopes. And we hope that you share your projects with us using that graphic 45 hashtag. Be sure to share those on Instagram or on our graphic 45 community page. And again, if you're looking for more fun tutorials, we post these monthly along with other great collection review videos and other great inspiration. So go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know when we've got a new video up. And thanks so much for creating with us. Happy paper crafting.